The short story Soldier's Home by Ernest Hemingway was published in 1925 as part of an anthology titled Contact Collection of Contemporary Writers and in the same year in Hemingway's short story collection In Our Time. In Our Time was Hemingway's first collection of short stories and its title comes from the English Book of Common Prayer and the line, Give Peace in Our Time. It includes stories that Ezra Pound contracted Hemingway to write for the Little Review as well as additional pieces including two of the most popular stories from his Nick Adams series, Indian Camp and Big Two-Hearted River. Frequent themes in the collection include loss and alienation. Hemingway's signature sparse use of language is evident throughout the work. Krebs, the central character in Soldier's Home, departed for World War I in 1917 from a Methodist college in Kansas. A photograph shows him with his fraternity brothers. After being in the Rhine during the war, he returns home in 1919. A photo from that period shows him with another corporal and two German women. There is not celebration upon Krebs' return home as he has returned later than almost everyone else. Nobody will show any interest in any stories that Krebs has to tell. They have all heard so many stories from the war at that point that little interest remains. He tried lying to get people to take notice but that simply led him to stop talking about the war. Even his lies did not garner any interest from anyone. Krebs gets into the habit of sleeping well into the day and doing nothing in particular. To his mother and younger sisters, however, he is something of a hero. His mother will ask him about the war, although she does quickly get bored hearing about it. Krebs finds that nothing much has changed in the town during his absence, although some who were young girls are now young women. He enjoys observing them, but does not show any interest in having them become part of his life. He has no desire to get involved with the game playing that is part of courting someone and developing a relationship. He avoids anything that might result in any type of consequences. His time in the army has convinced him that he does not need a woman in his life although other men with whom he served felt that they could not live without one. To Krebs looking at women without having to speak with them is sufficient. While at war he liked the fact that with French and German women not much talking was involved. In fact, he would have preferred not to have come home but he did and has taken to watching the women walk by. Krebs has a book about the war and starts to learn about it. He reads about the battles that he was in. His mother tells him that it is all right for him to use the car in the evenings. As he reads the newspaper at breakfast, his mother tells him to keep it in order. Meanwhile, his sister Helen tells Krebs that she has an inside baseball game later that day. She says she will be the pitcher and asked him to attend. Their mother dismisses Helen and says that Krebs should start thinking about getting a job. She informs her son that she has been praying for him and about all of the temptations that must have come his way. What she stresses, though, is that he needs to obtain a job. All of the other men his age, she adds, are finding jobs and getting wives. When she asks Krebs if he loves her his response is that he does not, as he is unable to love anyone. This upsets her, but he tells her he did not mean anything by it and that he will try to do the right things. She then asks him to kneel down and pray with her. He is not able to pray while she does. Krebs decides to leave at this point. He feels that he should be able to get a job in Kansas City and get out of his mother's house with a minimal amount of further disagreements. His life is not progressing calmly as he would like it to. He decides to go and watch his sister Helen play in her baseball game. This story is based on a bit of a paradox. Krebs, leaving a life of war, hopes to return to a simple, uncomplicated life. Instead everything in the world to which he returns seems more complex. Relationships seem to have political entanglements and women who once seemed young now appear to be modern. Krebs is trying to adapt to his return to a simpler life by reading a book about the war he participated in to gain a deeper understanding of that period of his life. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.